Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and hope you all are staying safe. So today I have come up with very interesting and exciting topic in Android. What is watchdog timeout? So what is watchdog timeout? When does this occur? And what uh, uh, what logs will be generated when this watchdog watchdog timeout occurs? And also we'll see what is deadlock and example of deadlock in the logs how to identify deadlocks from the logs so this will be very very informative and very very helpful when you're debugging issues so you won't get this information easily on uh, other uh, websites so that's why i am making this tutorial uh, to help everyone to analyze their logs and to identify watchdog uh, timeout errors as well as deadlocks in their logs so let's get started so uh, we'll see what is watchdog timeout definition first uh, so uh, if any of the system threads are blocked for more than a minute watchdog timeout occurs and the system server will restart this is also called as system server watchdog timeout so uh, we all know that system server is the first process to be spawned and system server has the responsibility to start other processes uh, one by one for example power manager service or activity manager or notification manager everything is started by the system server one by one so when the uh, main thread is blocked for more than 60 seconds that is a minute when the device is blocked for more than a minute that time watchdog timeout occurs and system server will restart in other words to say that the device is uh, device main thread or the main thread or any service which is inactive for about a minute that time watchdog timeout occurs and causes are when any one of the following locks is held for more than a minute or when the server thread is busy if it is performing or if the main thread is performing operations um, which are long running operations which are uh, not finished even in 60 seconds that time also watchdog timeout occurs so the uh, lock is held for more than a minute or when server thread is busy activity manager server or power manager service window manager service all this so i hope uh, you all understood what is watchdog timeout so it is nothing but is the system threads if any of the system threads are blocked for more than a minute if system thread is inactive for more than a minute that time watchdog timeout will occurs so uh, this is one part what is watchdog timeout and next we'll see what is deadlock so i hope you all know what is deadlock so imagine there are two, uh, two threads thread a and thread b thread a is having the resource which is required by thread B and thread B is having the resource which is required by thread A. Both of them are waiting. So thread A is waiting for thread B to release its resources and thread B is waiting for thread A to release its resources. Both are waiting for each other to release but no one are releasing. So at this time we call it as deadlock. The system will be not responsive okay so here i have uh, taken uh, one example where uh, the device crashes i'll be using the device and the device will crash and then the device restarts itself soft reboot will occur the reboot occurs because there is a watchdog timeout happening and deadlock happening so my issue i hope my issue is clear so i'm using the device and after some time of use the device gets crashed and it's reboot itself so the user is not rebooting or i'm not sending any uh, commands to reboot the device device is rebooting itself because system server is killing all other processes and the device is getting rebooted this we call it as soft reboot so that reboot is happening why it is happening we will see now so this is the uh, crash text so first what we have to uh, take we have to take the logs when the issue is happening from so from the logs we can see here there is a thread with id 67 and that is blocked and that is waiting to lock one uh, process which is held by thread 
71. So threat 67 is blocked because it wants a resource and that resource is held by threat 71. And if we uh, scroll down, we can see there is a thread 71, which is waiting for resource, which is held by thread 67. So each of them having resource and they are waiting. Okay, let me wait. Let 71 release and 67 is telling no, no. Let 71 release and 71 is telling no, no. Let 67 release. So what happens this time? Both of them are waiting and nothing is happening. This is when a deadlock occurs. So here is the deadlock because input method manager service they are acting upon this service is not responsive for more than 60 seconds now because of deadlock now watchdog occurs so how to see if watchdog has occurred okay from the logs you have i have highlighted you'll get watchdog killing system processes okay so you all can see in which process watch time occurs because activity manager service is not responsible for more than 60 seconds then we'll see um, all these things then we'll see a goodbye message so when watchdog will send goodbye message that means there is a crash and the um, system is rebooting that one we can see here so if I search for the keyword boot, so here we can see boot progress start. This is the event which is happening. So that means that boot event started. So this was the example I wanted to tell you all. I hope this is clear. So first I wanted to uh, inform you all about what is watchdog timeout. So watchdog timeout means any of the system thread. If it is blocked for more than a minute, watch time timeout occurs. Now I told you one issue where I am using the device and suddenly device crashes and it reboots by itself because the system thread is blocked here with id 67 it's waiting for uh, 71 to release the resource and 71 is waiting for 67 to release the resource so here deadlock is happening and therefore the system thread is blocked and that system thread is belonging to activity manager service here okay activity manager service fine activity manager service you are also activity manager service and activity manager service. So we all know activity manager service is one of the system service. Now due to deadlock, the system service is blocked. That's why what will happen? Watchdog timeout will occur. Deadlock is a reason for watchdog timeout. It is one reason. Okay. Watchdog timeout occurs. Then what will happen? The device starts getting rebooted that's all crashed so how to fix this so we have to go here check in which function uh, which uh, file which function is held by this thread and we have to go through the code and then we have to resolve this issue so i hope this information was clear i have given with example how to check the watchdog how to check the deadlock and how the um, device uh, reboots all these examples. So you will not find this information easily other places. So I thought, let me make it easy for y'all. I hope this was very informative and y'all learned what is watchdog timeout. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Stay tuned with my upcoming tutorials to learn more about Android framework. See you all in my next tutorials. Until then, take care. Bye.